welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and of course turn on that bell button para naman updated ka sa lahat ng mga bago kong uploads. By the way, this is Raymond, your Pinoy nurse here in Ireland. Before I start, I'd just like to give a shout out to Kuya Ruby, sa kanyang misis na si Atufe, and kay Jeff, Jason, and James Alcacid from Singapore. Kumusta kayo dyan? Okay guys, our topic for today is all about the new NMBI platform. As I've mentioned before guys, ang NMBI ay nag-launch ng new platform and they said that this will make the process, the application procedures, faster and of course, easier. So let's find out. Guys, I'd just like to remind you that if you have your ongoing application sa NMBI, you don't have to create an account dito sa my NMBI, which is the new platform because NMBI will email you with your username and password, okay? So in that way, you will be able to open your account and then check the status of your application, okay? Now, if you were a new applicant, well, I have some good news sa inyo. This information that I'll be sharing with you guys are all in the website. Guys, let me just remind you, this is a new platform. So this is very different to what all of us na nandito na. So may mga bagay na hindi ako ma-explain na maayos kasi hindi ko pa alam fully but I will try my best to give you an idea and of course to differentiate from the old process. If you were a new applicant, you just need to log in to my NMBI and then create your username and password and then start uploading your documents and all that. First things first guys, since this is a new platform ng NMBI, it is very important for you to read the applicant's user guide. So lahat ng information about the process, about the documents that you will be needing, ay nandun. So it is very helpful and I really advise you to read that before going through the application process. Based on my understanding guys, this procedure or this process of NMBI application has two parts. Number one is the qualification recognition and then number two is the registration process. So, bale, ganun lang, nahati siya sa dalawa. And let me just give you a heads up guys, wag na kayong maliko dun sa G1, G2, G3 which is the classification na ginagawa nila sa mga applicants because yung mga G1 or G2, yun yung mga nurses or mga applicants na nasa Europe because the standards of their education, especially sa nursing, are pretty much the same dito sa Ireland. Hindi tayo bilang to. Doon tayo sa G3, okay? Our classifications are those who are registered overseas and then, you know, trying to get here. Now guys, I have a good news for you. Since two parts to my NMBI, the qualification recognition and then uh, registration process, you will not be needing the IELTS or your English proficiency. So IELTS man yan o OET right away, okay? You will be needing that during the registration process. And of course, they're gonna ask me, Nurse Freeman, so with a new NMBI platform, ano yung procedure natin? Number one, sino sino ba yung qualified to apply dito sa NMBI? So unang una, you have to be registered sa PRC sa Pilipinas or if you are working already in some other parts of the world as nurse and you are registered to their nursing body, you can. For as long as you have at least 12 months of experience. So hindi yan na from the previous um, procedure guys. So you still have to have at least one year of working experience and then you are registered. So as I mentioned guys, there are two steps in this process, okay? In this new application process. Number one is the qualification recognition. So sa qualification recognition guys, if you are a new applicant, you just need to go to my NMBI and then set up your account. So pag like, set up an account, for sure they will ask you about your personal details, etc. And then they will ask you some questions as well and this will classify you as I've mentioned earlier. So basically, since mga overseas nurses tayo, automatically dun tayo sa G3. Basically, yung mga nurses that are trained outside of Europe and outside of Ireland. And then afterwards, you will be presented with the list of documents that you have to complete and of course upload sa yung account. And I just want to remind you guys that if your document is not in English, make sure that it is translated, okay? By an authorized translation agencies, okay? And of course, this is a registration process, yeah? So, may bayad siya. So, ang bayad nito ay 350 euros. Basically, same amount din yun ang binayaran ko before nung nag-process ako. So, 350 euros siya. And then afterwards, NBI will review your application and then will email you about the decision. Ngayon guys, gano ba katagal yung process nito? So, as per the applicant user guide guys, maximum of 3 months. 
yung kanilang verification and also yung kanilang review ng yung application. So maximum 3 months. If you don't have your IELTS at that time, use the time to review and take the IELTS so that pag na-receive mo na yung outcome ng kanilang review sa application mo, you have your IELTS right away for the registration process, okay? Ngayon, since this is a qualification recognition and NMBI will review your application, of course, there will be three outcomes possible na matanggap mo. So, it is said that the result will be emailed to you, okay? So, number one, qualifications recognized. So, it only means that you are okay. All the documents that you submitted are okay and you can go on with the registration process. Number two, submit missing documents. So, it only means that you lack some documents and you just need to upload it in your My NMBI account. Number three, guys, a compensation measures are required so so compensation measures guys you can take either of the two the adaptation and the aptitude test okay so yun yung nakalagay sa user guide nila now based on my experience kasi it is based on your employer okay guys to add up regarding the compensation measures so so compensation measures isa yun sa mga possible outcome ng yung qualification recognition and ang nakalagay sa user guide and i quote you have a choice to undertake one of the following period of adaptation or aptitude test. So meaning guys, we can have a choice because the choice of taking the adaptation or the aptitude test depends on your employer. Pero here, they are saying that you have a choice. So I'm not really sure kung paano yung mangyayari. I'm not really certain about it. But we're gonna find that out in the future. Dun sa adaptation and aptitude test, basically there's no much difference, okay? So sa adaptation, minimum of 6 weeks and then maximum of 12 weeks. Yun yung duration ng adaptation. And then sa RCSI aptitude test naman, so you have the theory and then the practical exam. And the last possible outcome, guys, is refused recognition. So this is something na ayaw nating matanggap, okay? But I am pretty sure, guys, that if you are qualified, if you have the experience, if you have all the documents, guys, the, the last possible outcome will never happen to you. Just make sure, guys, that you avoid any fraudulent documents. Wag mong pekein kung ano man kapal mong pekein. So, never do that, okay? So, you just need to submit all the documents required and let's hope for the best. So, that is the qualification recognition, guys. So, it's pretty much the same from the previous application procedure. So, bibigyan ko lang kayo ng mabilis na idea about dun sa previous application. So, una-una, you just need to complete the application form and then you will send it to them and then they will send you back yung application pack. So yung application pack may section 1 and section 2 yun. Yung section 1 which is your personal details and then section 2 yung mga verification. Sa school, sa PRC, sa Saudi Council and sa previous employer mo. So yung application pack you will receive that once you pay 350 euros from your account. So it's basically the same, di ba? And just to remind you, you won't be able to have the application pack kung wala kang IELTS. And that's what's good about this new platform, guys. So qualification recognition, they do not require the English proficiency exam right away. And it's easy kasi, so kung napapanood mo tong video na to, tapos bigla mo naisip, ay, mag-apply na ako sa Ireland. So you just need to go to my NMBI, create your account, set up your account, and then upload all the documents, etc. Now, guys, this is a good question, actually, because I know someone who is... Um, starting to have this application through this new platform and may nakalagay kasi doon na CCPS. In CCPS, this is a certificate of current professional status or basically just the verification of your work or your registration, etc. So, sa amin kasi, doon sa application back in section 2, uh, that is a form, okay, that you need to submit to your school, to your uh, to PRC, to Saudi Council, to your previous work employment, etc. But here, I am not really sure how we're gonna do the CCPS. Pero dun sa screenshot na sinend niya sa akin, ang nakalagay do that you need to fill out this form and then pay the, the appropriate fee and then they will process the verification. That I am not sure guys, okay? So if you have any idea, please let me know. Just write it in the comment section, okay? So ngayon guys, pag-usapan naman natin yung second step ng application process, which is the registration process, okay? So here, once your qualification has been recognized, or if you were asked to do the compensation measures, like the adaptation aptitude test, you were eligible to be registered sa NMBI. As, so as I mentioned earlier, guys, at this point, they will be asking your English proficiency exam. So you can have your OET or your IELTS, okay? And one of my subscribers asked me kung eligible na ba na gamitin yung OET computer-based exam. 
ngayon kung ano nalaman na meron na pala nun. No? So, ang alam ko lang kasi yung IELTS computer-based exam. But here, OET computer-based. So, as per the user guide, guys, there's no mention about the computer-based exam. So, it is written here, guys, that NMBI accepts International English Language Testing System, which is the IELTS, and the uh, academic test, by the way, and the Occupational English Language Test as evidence of English language competency. So, computer-based exam, I am not really sure yet. So, sa IELTS, guys, overall score of 7 with a minimum of 6.5 in any one component, okay? So, sa OET naman, guys, you have to have a minimum of grade B in three components and a minimum of C+. Plus in one component, okay? So, hindi siya specific. So, sa registration process, guys, same thing dun sa qualification recognition. You just need to log into your MyNBA account. And then, here, it is written that you need to upload the evidence of your English proficiency exam and then answers questions related to your registration application. And then, there are some documents din na kailangan mo din provide And then, submit the required documents, the declaration, and then you have to pay 145 euros, okay? So, sa step 1 ng application process, 350 euros. Tapos sa registration process, 145 euros. So, same thing, NMBI will review your registration and then they will email you about their decision. Or you can check naman dun sa NMBI account mo and the status of your applications are being updated real time. So, I think that's about it for now, guys. So, this is a new platform. Magali pa tayong kailangan madiscover dito. And if you already started this application, guys, I would appreciate if you can share that in the comment section. Kasi marami din nagtatanong sa akin and I am like clueless then at some point. Okay, so I would appreciate if we can help each other. And I hope medyo natuwa kayo sa mga adjustments ng new platform. Number one na dyan, guys, yung IELTS, which is not required yet in the qualification recognition, which is the step one. And it will be required in this step too. Okay? So that's about it, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please share. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow my Facebook page, Nurse Raymond123. Guys, almost 1,000 subscribers on Thaya, guys. So please keep on going. And I really appreciate your love and support, guys. Okay, guys. So I'm just gonna see you on my next video. Okay? Bye.